I was completely shocked. And then I laughed and I was like, you're kidding me. This is a joke, right? This is not a McDream. Patrick Dempsey is People Magazine's sexiest man alive for 2023. What would you say is one of the happiest moments of your life? This moment right now. <laughs> the 57 year old slides into the number two slot for the oldest sexiest man alive ever. He pushes Harrison Ford down to third, who was 56 when he got the title in 1998. But the late Sean Connery is still on top as he was 59 when he graced the cover in 1989. You do get more handsome every You're single year. Fine, thank you very much, thank you. You do. <laughs> it's true, he's a very sexy man. He's a sexy man today, he's a sexy man five years ago, he's a sexy man 10 years ago, 15 years ago, whatever. Patrick Dempsey is a sexy man and certainly worthy of the title. But we all know this is not determined by, you know, formulas and equations and determined by scientists in the lab. No, this is People Magazine editors who want to sell magazines. So they want someone who's having a pop culture moment right now. Who are you thinking, just out of curiosity? Harry Styles. I thought it was Taylor Swift's boyfriend, but... Oh, you thought it was Travis Kelsey. I was thinking Timothy Chalamet, but now uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Played a doctor on television. Are you George Clooney? The hint is star of one of the most popular television series of all time. Yeah, that was Kimmel's big hint for his audience last night as they tried to guess who it was. And yeah, of course, we now know he's referring to Grey's Anatomy, a show where his character was killed off eight and a half years ago. Yeah, sure, he came back for a dream sequence. He wasn't McDream, really, in 2021. What do you want me to promise? To torture yourself less. But still, he's been gone from that show for a very long time. This question made me chuckle. Was the hype of your career in 2004? No. <laughs> it's kind of an insulting question. Uh, next. Insulting, okay, but if she'd guessed 2005, 2006, 2007, the answer would have been an absolute yes. Grey's Anatomy premiered in March 2005, and McDreamy was everywhere, including the cover of People's Sexiest Man Alive. I've been the bridesmaid for People's Sexiest Man Alive. Patrick was on Clooney's cover. Hi. Bye. In 2006, when 20 to 25 million people were tuning in each week to season two of Grey's to see the Meredith, Addison, Derek love triangle, and Patrick was next to Matt Damon in 2007 when season three was topping the TV ratings. Now I get the big picture, not the little picture that's on the side. Since being killed off the show in April 2015, Patrick has done two movies, 2016's Bridget Jones's Baby, seven years ago, and then last year's Disenchanted. Then he did a miniseries in 2018 called The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair? which was on the Epics channel, never heard of that channel. And then he's done two seasons of Devils, a TV series that aired in Italy. So yeah, not exactly, you know, top of mind. What took them so long is the I, only question I have. I don't know, I'm just happy they made a decision and it was me this year, I'm it's very grateful. Hollywood publicists want to get their star on the cover of People magazine when they have something to promote. And yeah, Patrick does have that, the movie Ferrari. His name isn't on the poster, nor is he seen in the trailer. And this is early to do promotion for a movie that comes out on Christmas, but, most importantly, Patrick can talk about his movie. <laughs> I've been tracking this movie for years. Uh, I think Mike was, have been, has been trying to make the movie for over 30 years. Yeah, with the SAG strike still going, actors aren't allowed to talk about their work, so they can't do an interview for People Magazine. Only those movies that are made outside the Hollywood system, that are made independently, can be talked about. And Ferrari is one of those. Oh, you have a movie coming out at the end of the year, right? Can yeah. you mention that, or are we not allowed to? One I can mention, the other one I can't mention. Mention the one that you can. So I did the Ferrari movie. Yeah, uh, with, right. Uh, Michael Mann directed That's that. the one you can mention? That's the one Okay, I can good, because you did. Yes, I did yes. that. So yeah, let me say again. Let me be clear about this. Patrick is worthy. He is sexy. He may be the sexiest. But yeah, timing is a big factor in this. And that explains partly why this is his time. But yeah, I mean, you can go this the reverse way and say this is why Patrick is allowed to do this interview. Finally, I am this year's... People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive. And he knows, now word is out, this is gonna be the time that he, you know, gets some jabs from his family and friends. They'll pick on me. <laughs> which is good, they keep me young. I think everybody's gonna give me a hard time, which they should. And Patrick wasn't the only possibility, like a musician could be chosen. Thank goodness it wasn't Blake Shelton again, so we can be happy about that. <laughs> but I was thinking like, who's having their era right now? Like Bad Bunny is around. And then there's been celebrities who've been out promoting their books, like Matthew McConaughey. Adam Driver is the star of Ferrari, he's a good looking man. But if offered, Adam strikes me as someone like Ryan Gosling who would turn it down. And I'm not even sure People Magazine would offer it to Adam Driver because I think Patrick Dempsey is more People Magazine's audience than Adam Driver is. But yeah, bad on Patrick Dempsey. Looks incredible, 57 years old. He's the sexiest man alive, what do you think? Are you Dr. McDreamy? Yes. 